Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. This is part two for the turtle filter feeding into a high humidity planter, and it's of course going to be an above tank one. And it is the third part in my series of, well, comparing different kinds of filters uh, feeding into high humidity planters, because I, I really do like the planters. Uh, they're excellent filters for keeping uh, the tanks nice and balanced, and of course also for uh, reducing nitrates. So I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be enough of a difference between all of them. They're all very good filters. Uh, but when it comes down to uh, nitpicky things like maintenance, uh, longevity, and stuff like that, in time there may actually be uh, enough of a difference between them that I may prefer one over the other. But again, it's really hard to tell, and that's mostly the reason why I go to the trouble of building all these different kinds of filters. Certain filters will be uh, suitable for certain people's uh, preference for maintenance, and other filters won't be. So this gives you a lot of comparisons, and of course you can just make up your own mind. So this is going to be, uh, well, there's three of these, and they're going to be the trays for uh, the tower that's going to fit in the back. In part one, I put together the main underneath carriage for all this, and in the front there's going to be the high humidity planter, which I built the cap for as well. Uh, these are going to be the tower components, and they're going to sit in the back. And I made them almost exactly the same size as my new box filters. So there's going to be a bit of a difference with one of them, and that's only because of uh, splashing. I just want to make sure that water goes where I want it to. And, of course, the bottom one here, because uh, there's a hole I drilled in the bottom, and there's a fitting that's going to go on that, so this has to fit over the fitting, and that's all. I cut a piece of wood, as you can see there, and that will ensure that, first off, it goes over the fitting, and secondly, that the top part, which is where my right hand was there, uh, is going to uh, be the same as the other. So this is going to be almost exactly comparable to uh, the box filters. And it's not really that important, I suppose, uh, but I want to keep these at least reasonably comparable. So this is a matter of welding these all together, and these are going to stack together. And because the fitting, uh, I'm going to try something a little bit different. If you remember the from box filters, the way I build those, uh, there's a clear acrylic tube that goes out the center of them, and that's perfectly fine. But because this is going to be fed by a pump. I decided instead to go with PVC for this. So this is going to be, uh, <coughs> well, a PVC fitting in the bottom and then a, a half inch PVC uh, tube that's going to go up through the center of these. And <coughs> because of that, it allowed me to uh, use well one of the odd sizes of acrylic tubing I've been using, which is going to be, of course, for each of these trays so that the media doesn't get you know bound up on the holes. And also, if you remember from the box filters, I like to be able to reach in and pull the tray out uh, just by lifting that clear acrylic rod, sorry, tube. And that's going to be the same feature here. So that's uh, the reason for uh, going with a slightly different build for this. So you notice here, the bottom part doesn't have any holes for where the water can escape yet. I left it to the end because, well, I wasn't entirely sure how it was all going to fit together. I wanted to make sure uh, it worked the way I wanted it to. And then secondly, at this point, I hadn't decided whether I was going to just drill a bunch of holes or, as it turns out, just cut that bottom part off. Because as the water trickles down through this filter system, uh, there's a lot of gas exchanges, which is one of the really nice things about trickle filters. There's lots of splashing, uh, lots of chances for small droplets, which are really great for off-gassing. And I decided to leave the bottom as open as possible so that um, there's a lot of chance for that gas exchange to happen. So that's the reason for this, um, leaving as open as I have. <clears throat> In the long run, um, I don't think it's going to be a problem with it. Uh, there may be more splashing than I really want to have, uh, but again, until I turn this thing on and try it, it's hard to say. But we'll, t we'll figure it all out. So these are going to be uh, two trays. Now this is exactly the same as uh, the box filter size, except uh, the top tray, instead of just being one inch, it's going to be uh, three inches because I want to, like I said, keep down the splashing as much as possible. Uh, I may actually put a cap on this in time, but I don't know for sure until, of course, I you know run it for a little bit and see if, the, if there's actually any need for it. You're going to see there's going to be a little bit, not really a spray bar, but a, 
a different way of having the water enter the filter on the top of this and I think that's going to be sufficient to keep splashing down but if, if it isn't the nice thing about these sorts of things and building the way I do it's so easy just to alter it and put something else on there so this is going to be like I said this is going to be the middle tray the one that you see at the top of the screen there is the bottom one and then of course there's going to be one more for the top so I'm not going to show you all the builds it's, <laughs> it's just um, the same all the way through now that they've like I said now that I've done the one that's different there uh, the top one's exactly the same as this one now I'm going to leave out some of the PVC uh, cutting because there's nothing really different about it. Um, if you have any questions just definitely leave comments below and let me know what you think about it. Uh, these are obviously the, uh, well they're acrylic, clear acrylic tubes they are going to easily slide over the PVC pipe that's going to go up the middle of this and of course it's there for ensuring that any of the media I put in this uh, stays where it needs to be. and of course the part I like the most is just so simple to pull these out and clean them I really like that aspect of them in uh, the box filters I've been putting together so you can see the two at the top there they're already stacked and they fit nicely the thing is of course you don't see any uh, brackets or anything on these to uh, keep them from sliding around because they're not necessary they're going to slide over a pipe and that pipe's going to keep them all uh, situated where they need to be and that's uh, pretty much it. I wanted to have this installed uh, today for you and show you it running, but that's going to have to wait till Friday because if I if I try to fit this all into one video, uh, too much is left out. There's stuff that just needs to be explained, and I just don't want to skim over it and, and obviously leave stuff out. So this is how they're going to stack. Very nice and neat, and of course lots and lots of room in there for uh, splashing and gassing and all that sort of stuff so very happy about that so this is the first part you saw and there is the uh, hole in the bottom and what I did here is I instead of gluing this in place I'm just gonna put a washer on here and just tighten it down because if this leaks it's just gonna pour back into the aquarium and there should be enough of a tight fit there that I'm not gonna get too much uh, drip and obviously lose too much uh, water from this to go into the hydrated planter. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. If it is, of course, I can just simply uh, glue that down quite quickly. And those are one of the things I need to work out for the, the third part of this. And as you see, these just slide over really nice and easily, and uh, makes it nice and neat. And we'll see how they work. This is the little uh, <laughs> interesting arrangement I made to fit on top of this. I had to cut some of the pipes down, but uh, again, it was just it's just friction fit. None of that's glued together. And you've seen me do it so many times in a lot of the other videos. So it just gives me a nice little, not really a spray bar, but uh, it'll allow me to direct the water. I may have to put a little bit of a pipe on those to extend it down to where the uh, sponge is going to be. But there you go. That's uh, all set and ready to fill. So I'm gonna, for third part three, I'm going to put all the media in, get it running, and do some explanation of why I'm doing each of the steps. So... Thank you very much for watching. Leave comments, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.